All right, I'm gonna do a real quick update here. Uh, apologize, I can't get my screen capture software to work, so we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. I don't know, this computer I have down here is so darn old. But what I've done, I've done a little bit more work, and I got some of the, uh, the intermediates to work properly, and some of the other signals to work. Now, it's not perfect yet, but what we'll do is we'll bring this train into the block here, and we'll see how the intermediates here react. Okay, so he comes in. You can see they both go green, which is correct, because there's no other train in the block on the other track. We'll get him moving along here. Uh, here comes our 80 Mac with our, our test train here. And then he's going to come through the intermediates here. Okay, so we get a red and a green, and that'll stay red. So I have some detected cars at the end of it. And the whole train will go through the intermediates. I probably should run a shorter train for this. And he comes out, clears the block, and it goes back to green. And then, actually, it should have gone off, but, oh, no, he's still in the block. So he's coming through over here. And as soon as he goes through there, those go on. And now I got those to be correct. So he's coming through here. And that signal, these aren't the way I want to do it, but, uh, because they're all green for now. Because I'm still having issues with the, uh, direction of traffic but that does drop to red there and then I don't know if you can see way back there in the back the ones at 94 went off so he'll come around here and obviously this side is still dark not on yet red and it'll stay red when he's going through the signal and then that side's red and it'll stay red and then down here at Wallace what I have done here again I don't really like it this way but you can see there both set at green green and as he goes through there that'll just drop to red And then another thing on that signal there on the right hand side, if I throw this switch here to go into the branch line, that signal will flip over to yellow, lower yellow. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? I got issues here. All right, so now we're back, and we're going to be better now. So you got that one that's green, he cleared, and going into the branch is red over yellow. Um, but if I bring a car out to occupy the block coming in then, this direction, that'll then drop to red over red. Uh, again, not perfect, because it would be red if I was lined up to come out, but we still got to work on that, so... We're getting there, getting some things done. Um, let's go over and we'll take a quick look at the uh, at the screen. I hate doing it this way, but just to show kind of what we're doing for diagnostics because it is helping out. Um, and I'll show you how the blocks occupy as this train comes around. Uh, then we'll wrap up the way this over. Here. Another thing we'll show here is uh, I was able to get the flashing indications working. So if we throw this to cross over. You'll see the signal there on the left is going to red over flashing green with a red red on the other side because the crossover is lined against them. You 
and they both go back. Now that went red because the train's coming in the block here. Um, and if I try to throw the other crossover, I'll get a red right on the other side there. And I better throw it back or this train will derail. So that will go to red. So we're getting there. I see it's uh, working somewhat the way I want it to. It's not perfect yet. Still a lot of debugging to do. Um, I found one major issue with one of the variables I was using. That was the, the big problem with it. And so that'll stay like that because I got some cars on the end there that have uh, draw some current. One's a sound reefer and the other's the car with an EOT on it. clear up that goes back to green again not really the way I like it but for now that's what we're gonna live with like do some more work so here's the screen I made up for monitoring things as uh, as we're working here um, we have our direction of traffic variables which are not right the turnout feedback normal reverse uh, turnout feedback whether they're motor hand or lock and then all the block occupancy to see what blocks are occupied uh, and, the, and the train that's running now, he's uh, running through, just about to go through uh, Wallace Junction. So he's going through occupying that there. And then after that, he'll probably pop down to, oh, he just did, he's went into block six here. And then he'll come around and he'll go into... Eugene into Eugene East as he goes around right about now and that goes occupied there so this way we can follow things around and you know, as, they throw, as we throw turnouts, we can watch them change and uh, lock and unlock or manual hand on some of the, the turnouts. So I apologize for showing it this way, but uh, this is pretty helpful. So we just kind of leave this up as we're running running the layout. It gives us a chance to look at, uh, at the condition of the different variables and whatnot. And uh, so that's what we got for now. So again, more work to do, a lot more to uh, debug here. Um, but uh, we'll keep plugging away at it and one of these days we'll get this right. So there we go, that's uh, for this week and I'll have more to follow uh, with a, perhaps a scenery update and uh, we'll see what we can report back on Sunday.